you've been to Singapore several times before. Yeah, I started coming here. Actually, I was on the way to a physics conference the first time I came and loved it. And uh, essentially, I've been coming back ever since. You had a session at the Science Centre. Yeah. Uh, what was it like? It was uh, wonderful. I, I really enjoy um, speaking about physics and cosmology to, to science students of, of all ages and the questions about the inside, the interior of black holes and what happens to space and time close to a black hole and was there a before the Big Bang and if so what was that like? You know, questions like that which um, I think often um, adults get to they think about these things but almost get too ashamed to ask the simple questions and quite often the simplest questions are the deepest questions and many many times actually the answer is we don't know. For you I mean in science what's the biggest unanswered question? There are I mean there are enormous unanswered questions like for example is the universe eternal? Has it, um, I, I should say that there's a, there's a we have reason to suspect that the Big Bang this thing we used to think of as the origin of the universe may not have been the origin at all. It may have been an event in a pre-existing universe. So there are huge questions about is the universe eternal or finite and so on. Um, but then I think of the questions that we have a chance of answering, if we're lucky in the next 10 or 20 years, in my lifetime, then I think the, the, the question of our solitude in the universe is an interesting question. So uh, how common it, or otherwise is life in the universe? And it is possible that there are Martians, in terms of, by Martians I mean single-celled organisms that, that at best, but they, they could be present on Mars or on some of the moons of Jupiter or Saturn. So I think we have a reasonable chance of, of discovering life beyond Earth. We don't know what that chance is. There could be none for many hundreds or even thousands or millions of light years. That they could, possible. But it could be if we're lucky that we'll find that life began elsewhere in the solar system independently of the beginning of life on Earth. And that would be a wonderful thing to discover. In June, you'll be giving your first big show in Singapore. Yeah. What can we expect? It's a show about astronomy and cosmology, which means what do we know about the universe, how it evolved, um, what do we know about the, the, the galaxies and how are we related to the universe? How did we come to be here? How can something as complex as life form spontaneously through the action of a few simple laws of nature in this universe that's been around for 13.8 billion years. We're looking forward to your show. Thank you very much for having lunch. Thank you.